Okay, so you are showing me now the, what is it, the Cambodian cheese, you call it, right? So it's, it's fish. And you can eat with uh, Cambodian vegetable. So it's fish with um, pork. Yes. Can you just hold the camera for me and film, and film me? I'm going to try. Okay. Let's give this a try. From Tanoi. All right. So the so called Cambodian cheese, which yes. is made of fish and pork. Kind of sweet. Is there sugar? A little bit. Okay. It tastes good, but for me, you have to make it no sugar. Oh. You make it yes. no sugar or no? Uh, we can. Uh, if customer no need sugar, we don't add sugar. Yeah. But our recipe, we have a little bit sugar. Yeah, I like it. But I can taste the sugar. And I don't need sugar. <laughs> so that's this. That comes with this. Yes. This is, this is mixed with what? Yes. This and? This be the same. This is just this? Yes. The, just the whole thing? That's pork. More pork? Yes. You have more pork in here? You want to? Because the color is, is orange. This is, this is brown. <laughs> yes. So what is, why is this orange? Ah, because this one we put inside the banana leaf. So its color is not not orange. <laughs> but when you cook it in the oven, it comes out like this. Yes. Okay. Right. Sounds good. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Alrighty. So anyway, this is a lovely place. Thank you very much for letting me try. Beautiful restaurant. I highly recommend. In Simri by the riverside. What's it called again? The restaurant. What? Say it again. Ramna Gringsay. Riverside. Okay, I will post. Do you have a TikTok or um, Facebook or Instagram? Okay, you give me that. I'll post that in the in the description. Okay, so people to come. This is a beautiful, really beautiful place. Did you build this new? You made the hat? No, this is old house. Yeah, but you made renovation. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Alrighty, so that was a great find. Domnag Ricci restaurant on the riverside. Very easy to find, okay? It's right by this, this street. You got, the, you got the, the dam, the bridge over there with the little dam. And then over there is the wooden bridge. So see you later, guys. Yeah, so that's fantastic. So they're offering 50% off for the whole menu for three days right? because of the opening. So I just paid 5,000 real, which is $1.25 for two bloody good cappuccinos. I tell you, the coffee in Cambodia is unbeatable. So good. I'm like, I have to say, sorry, my friends in Bali, the coffee in Bali is not good, it's bitter. Very bitter, and I don't like if you drink an, a, a, an espresso in Bali, you want to throw up. Anyway, another story. Uh, oh, look at that little dog. Hello, doggy. So, yes, wonderful restaurant, fantastic experience, lovely owners. I talked to the wife, as you see in the video. She explained the menu to me. So, tonight I'm going back to have the roasted, I uh, know, the grilled duck, the, the rotisserie, rather, uh, and they. It's six dollars seventy-five for a whole duck, for a fifty percent off that. So that's about what three dollar thirty something. So yes, that's what I'm going to do. Imagine a whole duck for three dollars thirty. Think about that. Normally, in a normal, in other, I mean, six seventy-five is already cheap. Beautiful restaurant, wonderful design. Super healthy duck, fatty protein and animal fats with the skin oh they're yummy i can't wait to eat that one tonight in other restaurants i've been charged 12 14 dollars for the duck easily and uh that is not even 
point. The point is, well, they offer great price, prices to start with. They've got beef dishes. They've got, uh, but the, the problem with that is they, 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 they are kind of pre-cooked or they make them in oil. I don't eat anything with oil, but they know that you had another beef dish, which they grilled. And that was also, how much was that? She told me, I think $4. Yeah, $4. So that beef dish, I may get that actually rather than the duck. It cost me two dollars. She said it's huge. She said it's for two people. I'm like, what? Two people? Are you kidding me? Four dollars? She said, yep. So that's that's quite amazing. So after that, I'm going for my nice long walk along the my favorite place on the riverside. It's another wonderful Thai restaurant over there, and the Grandia coffee shop. And uh, an idiot over there. Anyway, French guy, my ex-girlfriend's ex-boyfriend, ex, 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 ex. <laughs> uh, the jealous idiots. Anyway, not the point. The point is, enjoy your life, have fun, work hard, get outside, walk, swim, do strength training, but use your body as a gym, push-ups, planks, squats, lunges, headstands, handstands, and so on. You do not need to go to the gym. I do everything outside, everything, especially as I, as I live in Southeast Asia, in Cambodia, and in Siem Reap. And no one's gonna stop me from living in Siem Reap, guys. Even though some wanker, some wanker, wanker, wanker guy sent me an email saying, you're not welcome here. You are not welcome here, Rob Hormon. This is the anti-Rob Hormon Facebook group. <laughs> Leave Siem Reap as soon as possible. What do you think I said? I wrote back, fuck yourself. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that's uh, just, and that email is anonymous, of course, because they're too chicken shit to write to me directly with their fucking name. But the guy also left the comments on my TikTok. So I know his name, it's Jeffrey something or rather. And I took a screenshot, blocked him, but I got his name and I'm gonna bust his balls when I find him. So if he's watching or if any of his friends, I'm sure it's his, he is my ex's new American fat bastard boyfriend. So anyway, ah, I love that shit. Okay, that's enough for now. Just, you got my message, be healthy, walk a lot, eat, eat well, try to avoid carb carbohydrates as much as possible. Rice, pasta, noodles, bread, pizza, all that shit. Sugar, you know, a slice of fucking bread, by the way, one slice of fucking bread contains four teaspoons of sugar. Think about that. That's the, that's the sugar content alone, without the carbohydrate content. So they add the sugar, so one slice of bread, not, not, not two or three, one. You're, you're, you're having four tablespoons of sugar. And that's what makes people fat and sick, and it's the same with fucking all the other things like pizza base and, and burger, burger buns and they all contain added sugar. And then you've got the, 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 the wheat that it's made from turns to glucose in your bloodstream. And what is glucose? Sugar, all right? So it's really, 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 really important that you start to understand that because people are getting fat and sick and they don't know why. And we have the biggest health epidemic in the world at the moment. Thank God America's finally realized it and with President Donald Trump being reelected, it's fantastic. He's got Robert Jr. Kennedy with him on his, on his team who is leading the attack against the, the, the food industry. And make, his slogan is make America healthy again. That's right. The first time ever, and he's fit as a fiddle, just like me. And I don't know how old he is, it's about maybe 65 or something. So his agenda is to go after the pharmaceutical industries, the food industries, and attack them and make them stop using shitty ingredients, such as sugar, chemicals, coloring, agents, and so on. There's all kinds of sh shite in the food. 80% uh, of the food that the food companies produce, such as Kraft, Heinz. Uh, I forget the names now. 
there's like four or five of them. Nestle, <clears throat> and another, another few, but Kraft is one of the worst culprits. It's shit, absolute shite. It's just junk food full of sugar, carbohydrates, and chemicals. Sorry. Loads and loads of food vendors are here and beautiful places to sit along the rooms. Hello. Hello. How are you doing? Good. I'm very good. Happy. Lovely place. So I, I'm going to stop rambling on about that. Enough said. Eat well. Avoid carbohydrates. Stop eating sugar, guys. Stop eating candy. That's just so fucking unhealthy. What's that? London, UK. You? Where are you from? Uh -huh, Amber too, food menu, okay. Well, she's a lovely lady. Is this your shop? Yes. Okay, this is. We're well, working on it right now, and this is where you can sit, so it looks very nice. But again, you've got to be careful because most of these things here are fried, are fried in oil. You use oil, right? You have to stop oil. Oil is unhealthy. Okay, that's enough. Talk to you later. Bye bye. Thanks for watching Rob's Health Crunch. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel. There is more great content on the way from me about Cambodia, health, fitness, wellness, real healthy food and great lifestyle habits. Don't forget to enable notifications so you'll know when the latest video is posted. Until then, here's some other great content I think you will enjoy.